hallelujah. You may be seated. Keep the atmosphere. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is here to set a fire in our hearts that afflictions, that distractions, that worldliness cannot quench. Good morning, champions. It's good to have you in church today. We are still in the assembly of the God begotten. We had begun our series on the realities of those begotten of God. Last week we saw the God begotten as beings of love, vessels of love. Today we're just quickly going to look at the God begotten as men and women who have the same spirit of Christ. The God begotten has the spirit of Christ. So say this with me. I am the God begotten. No, no, no. You are saying like you're thinking if you are born again and you belong to God and you know and the spirit of God in you bears witness with your spirit that you are a son of God. Say it with boldness. I am the God begotten. I have the spirit of Christ in me. Now this is a beautiful part. I am experiencing life on God's terms. Say, I am experiencing life on God's terms. Yes, as a God begotten, you are not allowed to experience life on your terms, on your enemy's terms, on your family's terms. You can only experience life on God's terms. Romans chapter 8 verse 9 to 11. I'll quickly read for us. But you are not controlled by your sinful nature. I read from the New Living Translation. You are controlled by the Spirit. If you have the Spirit of God living in you. And remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to Him at all. And Christ lives within you. So even though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life because you have been made right with God. Verse 9 and verse 11 is really where we're going to. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Christ, Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same Spirit living within you. Now, today I just want to remind us that the Spirit you carry is nothing other than the Spirit of Christ is the same spirit that was involved in his virgin birth is the same spirit that was involved in his miracle walking is the same spirit that was involved in raising him from the dead is the same spirit that facilitated his ascension to heaven you are you don't have a different Holy Spirit the spirit you have as a child of God as one begotten of God is the same spirit that was resident in Christ Jesus now this spirit not only identifies you with God this spirit marks you and sets you apart and ensures that you have the results of Christ if you would walk with that with this understanding and intentionally engage him daily the spirit that helped the Christ to be the Christ lives in you that's all I came to remind us today the same spirit that made Jesus Jesus Christ in you whether your name is Arut, Okon, Atom, whatever your name is and like verse 11 says the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you so this means that just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same spirit so I can equally say that the spirit of God who was involved in the virgin birth of Jesus lives in you and just as God brought forth Jesus from a virgin girl he will bring Bring forth wonder out of your life by the same spirit living within you. I can also equally say that the same spirit of God who helped Jesus during his earthly ministry lives in you, he lives in me. And just as God helped Jesus, he will help you and I to finish our assignment and fit perfectly into the vision of the Father by the same spirit living where? In you. We can still say that the same Spirit of God who empowered Jesus to work diverse miracles lives in you and just as God works miracles by the hands of Jesus, he will turn you and I into a miracle worker by that same 
divine spirit living in you so today i just came to encourage us that you have the spirit of christ you are wired to do what only the christ can do you are wired to produce the results of the christ you're wired to have the results of, of the christ the same spirit that enabled jesus to fit into the vision of the father lives in you the power that imparted life to his dead mortal body is resident in you so you can be rest assured that whatever is dead or dying in your life, whatever is degenerating or decaying in your life, whatever is wilting or languishing in your life, whatever is falling away or wasting away in your life, whatever is weakening or diminishing in your life, you'll come alive by what? The same Spirit of Christ living within you. If this is your testimony, rise and let's affirm the Word of God together. Say this with me. I have the Spirit of Christ. You don't still get it. I have the same Spirit of Christ. The Holy Spirit makes His home in me. So the Spirit of Christ lives in me. My body does not accommodate death or decay. The Spirit of Christ lives in me. I fit into the vision of the Father. The Spirit of Christ lives in me. I am relevant to the agenda of God on earth. The Spirit of Christ lives in me. I have all the help I need to succeed and thrive. The Spirit of Christ lives in me. Wisdom, understanding, and might are found in me. The Spirit of Christ lives in me. I am supernaturally empowered to do the impossible. The Spirit of Christ lives in me. I am an unfolding wonder in the world. The Spirit of Christ lives in me. I have the fullness of the anointing. I am experiencing life on God's terms. Knowledge and power lives in me. Life and light lives in me. My heart is not darkened. It is awakened. My ears are awakened to hear. My eyes are awakened to see. My heart is awakened to love. My mouth is awakened to judge in righteousness. My life releases light upon the places I trade. I am the way through which the kingdom is released in my world. For the one who holds the key of David lives in me. Join your hands together and clap in celebrating Jesus. Open your mouth and say, thank you, Father, for the spirit of Christ that is resident in me.